Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cardwell's Cauldrons. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And here, we're actually playing a deck that I've built on MTG Arena, and it seemed to work pretty well. Of course, I have my complaints as with, with every Magic card, <laughs> especially on Arena. But the name of it is Aura Borealis. It's a pretty cute little red-blue enchantment deck. And I want to put white in there, but I felt like it'd be too slow if we did. So let's go ahead and just jump on in here as let's well. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. The first guy, Siren Storm Tamer. Uh, he's just the great Siren Pirate Wizard for one. He's a 1-1 flying, and you can pay one and sack him to counter target spell or ability that targets you or any of your creatures you control. Really good. Dude, just super strong in everything you can do. Like, especially since you want to keep swinging, settle the wreckage, get the hell out of here. Yeah, because settle targets you, and it, that happened to me once, and I was just like, what, what, yeah. what? Because it's like, not done target me. Like, oh, oh, yeah, great. And I learned out that River's Rebuke targets a player, too. So the ones that bounces all their, your stuff, because I did that on Arena. I was like, no, let's counter that. That's cool. Neat. Yeah. All right, next guy we got is a Slither Blade. It's a blue mana for a, it's a one, two, can't be blocked. Yep, that's all it is. It's a little one drop that can hopefully can get you there or at least help you draw some cards later. Yeah. Uh, he's better than the Murfolk because he's a one, two and not just a one, one. And apparently Chain Whirler is getting up there and being used. So, you know, that'll save you from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, here's the bread and butter of the deck right here. Champion of the Flame. It costs two, one, one, trample. Whenever he is attached with an aura or equipment, but we don't have any equipment because it's too slow, uh, it gets plus two, plus two for each of those. So it's pretty hot, man. Like with all the one drop artifact or auras, you're just like, bah, 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 bam, and then you go at it. And by two swings with this guy, hopefully you just win. It's it's real good because yeah. he's got trample, so he's already big. That's the number one thing everyone forgets about. Yeah, it's just like, oh, he has trample. Oh crap. Yeah, thanks. I can't just chump him. Yep. Uh, this one, uh, Stormfleet Sprinter. He's a pirate. He was in the pirate deck, but he's just a haste unblockable guy. That's all. All day. I'll just... take it. it. This deck's just gonna get there. That's yeah. its whole point and purpose. You just we're gonna see if we get there. Like on arena, of course, there's no fatal push to worry about. <laughs> but being able to just win turn four, turn five, just quickly as you can, it's amazing. Yeah. All right, this dude, tell us about yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. You, you're the fun guy. I I really love this guy as soon as I saw him. But uh, Valdak, Keeper of the Flame, he costs three. He's a 3-2 legendary human shaman. We have four of them because you want to draw them as much as you can. So basically at the beginning of your combat step, for how many auras or equipment is attached to him, you get a 3-1 Trample Haste Elemental. And of course, at the end of combat, you sack them, or end of the turn. But you can also just be like, prump, 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 swing. You don't even have to swing with him. You can literally just sit back and have your like four three one Elementals go at it. Yeah. Or even one or two extra attackers is just really strong. Yeah. Both the dudes that get bigger or do things with auras and enchantment yeah. and equipment, I wish the equipments were better because it's auras and equipment. It like, doesn't it doesn't choose it doesn't, one. It doesn't matter. Like if you want to throw in a short sword, because it's it's a one drop, one costing yeah. casting cost or equipment cost, then go ahead. Yeah. But besides that, all the equipments are a little expensive for what I want to do yeah. here. Alright, let's get into the spells that make this deck work. Yep. Uh, first one, Arcane Flight. Everyone loves the art, throwing the kitty out in the air, but it's a 1-1 one, one for 1 enchantment that gives a creature flying. Jeez. And one, plus 1 plus 1. Playing this card in Limited was a bomb. Because yeah. you're just like, that dude's big, or that dude gets flying, thanks. And I just swing. And with the Champion of Flame, he's immediately a 4-4 four, four with flying. Trample. Yeah. All day. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't take much. Alright, yep. Cartouche of Zeal. It's yep. one red enchantment or a cartouche. Uh, you enchant a creature, and whenever it enters the battlefield, target creature can't block this turn. Very important. And then enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has haste. <laughs> also super important for one red. Yeah, so four mana, you play Valduk, and you're like, equip him with this, or enchant him with this. Yep. Combat. Make a 3-1, one, 
That dude can't block swing. I swing for he's a four. He, now he's a four it's three. It's at least eight. Yeah, yeah. Or seven. Just him by himself. Yeah. Just with that happening. It's so good. Yeah. Like the cartouches are all really strong what they do, and if you have an actual use for them, so much better. Yeah. Now this card is the reason why we're going blue and not blue, white, red. And because you want to get this out. Because you know the white creatures, 3-2, all your auras cost less. Yeah. In China. But if your auras are 1 or 2 cost, then that doesn't matter. Yeah. And also Saram. Uh, whenever you play an aura or equipment, you draw a card. But it's too late by then, you know? He's probably dead. or You just want to place a dude and get there. Yeah. Curious Obsession, one one blue enchant creature. Creature gets plus one plus one, which is insane for a blue card. And whenever it deals combat damage, you uh, draw a card. Now, stipulation is that the creature has to swing this turn, otherwise you have to sack the enchantment, but that's okay. Yeah, great, because that dude's probably gonna be swinging anyway. Exactly. So, and then, yeah, it's just, just a one drop blue thing that draws you cards. And you and, want four of them. And like you said, you put this on one of the unblockable dudes. Yeah. Then you don't have to worry about it dying ever because you're just like, swing this one to one. Yeah, so if your hand looks man, but you have a slither blade and this turn, like turn one, turn two, just go for it. Yeah. Then you just start swinging in. Hopefully they don't kill it and you start drawing cards. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Yeah. Uh, the next one, Cartouche of Knowledge. The other, the blue one. It costs two. It, you also, whenever you play this, you draw a card, which is good. Seems good. And then the uh, creature gets plus one, plus one, and flying. Also really good. So another way to get flying. Yeah. And you get to draw a card off of this one. So it's super strong. Yeah. Just give my dude flying. Don't block him. Just invasion, drawing cards, and making dudes bigger. That's all what this whole deck is trying to do. Yeah. Okay. All right. We got some spells to protect your dudes because you need them. Yeah. Like, we got the negates, because it's negate. Yep, let's negate. Counter target non creature spell for two mana. Now, on oh, Arena, I tried to do Syncopate, but it's just not. The you, With the X, and you only want barely two or three mana, four mana max with this yeah. deck. So, when you're casting enchantments and auras, you don't have mana left. So, negate wins. All right, so what is this one? Curator's uh, Ward. I also really like this, because it gives hexproof. Uh, so pace three, it's weird because enchant permanent. So any permanent can gain a hexproof. And if this permanent leaves the battlefield, if it was historic, draw two cards. So That's you pretty hot. put it on Valedict, uh, they board white, you can't stop it. You draw two cards. That's cool. That's really pretty good. Yeah. Just because you, you, you get value out of them. It, the main play you want to do is like turn two champion, turn three this ward then you win like if you can have enough auras to just put on him then you just win yeah because he has hexproof and you're swinging in four six damage per turn and they can't do anything about it it's really it's hot that's the hottest <laughs> yeah play that you can do that's really good yeah all right the lands are pretty easy we got eight islands we got six mountains uh four spire bluff canals yep and then four of the sulfur falls and the Spire Bluff is just the the two caffeine lands. Yeah, the caffeine lands we call them. They come and play tapped, if you unless you control two or fewer. Yep. And then Sulphur Falls is the buddy land if you control an island or a mountain, it comes on untapped. Yep. Pretty easy. Super simple. Super easy. Twenty two land. I would almost go down to twenty one depending on like how it runs. But. Mm -hmm. All right. So for the sideboard. Yep. Sideboards kind of simple but kind of not because you're just like I just want to get there so yeah. why would I want to try to put cards in to stop it but yeah but we got dive down yeah which is actually one of my favorite cards I weirdly enough I don't <laughs> it's a hexproof card but I don't not know. white yeah it's a one blue instant <laughs> target creature gains plus oh plus three and gains hexproof until the end of turn I it's just pretty good I, I used it in limited just because you're just like ah, dude's big. yeah and don't don't touch him yeah he doesn't die of the damage and he can't be die. you know, he can't, he can't die. Yeah, I like it. Yep. Uh, the next one is Spell Pierce, because if you're going against heavy control, then you just want to beat them on the tempo game. Yeah. Pretty much. Late game, of course, it's going to suck, but you're not trying to get to late game. Yeah. Uh, we got the Abrades for the artifacts, kills, yeah. or to kill a creature. Pretty much. Uh, two mana instant, 
three to a creature or destroy target artifact. Uh, people are like really trying to get their hands on like a God's Pharaoh gift. Like not just with blue, are they are doing it with red, green, or yeah. white, or they're going crazy with it. So that should help. Yeah. The next one, uh, lightning strike, just two mana, kill a dude for three damage. Like, just if you need to get there, go ahead and try to. Yeah, I mean it's lightning strike. Yeah. And then we have two more negates for the sideboard because you might need to bring them in if they're playing heavy on the control cards. Yeah, literally like two negates and all the spare spill. Spell piercing, <laughs> and then hopefully you just win by defending yeah. your dudes. And the last one, curators won just one more to make it four, because I almost had four in the main deck because I just feel it's good. Yeah, I I think three and one is the better play honestly, yeah. just because you're not gonna want that many of them in your hand just because it does cost three. Exactly. But if you need it for the the super heavy kill cards deck, then you may need it. Because literally you can put it on Champion of Flame, you win, hopefully, pretty much. And then uh, Balduck, you just put it on him, you don't swing into them, and then you just like Voltron him up yeah. real quick. And then you just win by Elemental swinging. You don't yeah. even care. Uh, it seems like a pretty strong deck. It seems really fun and super easy. Like, if you if you were looking for an easy, quick deck to play at Friday Night Magic, this is definitely the one to do. Just because yep. it's, it's very simple, very quick, and... You're literally buying the most expensive thing, which is probably Spire Bluff Canal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like I kept mentioning Arena uh, by next week. I know it's a little late when we reveal this, but I'm going to post videos on this and see how, show you how it runs. And that's what we're going to, I'm going to be trying to do that every week now. So, like, make a deck so, sort of similar to what we can build and then play it. Yeah. So you can actually see it in action. Yeah, definitely check out the arena when we get that up and running, but definitely, uh, if you need to see this video, the deck list will be down below. Yep. It's it's pretty fun. It looks goofy. Yep. It's simple, and Champion of Flame will get you there <laughs> immediately. I almost say mulligan until you have him and <laughs> or, uh, aura in your hand, and then you just win. Yeah, it's this pretty good op, really. Just yeah. Just because dude's big. Dude doesn't like your face. You can get big real quick. All right. Like I said, uh, thank you for joining us here. And this has been another episode of Cardinal's Cauldron. You have a good night. Later, y'all. Be sure to like and comment on the video. And to get our latest and greatest, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. And to get notifications, there's also a little bell that you can hit. Now, if you want to look at some old deck tech videos, go ahead and click to the right. And if you want to see them in action, click the videos below. Thank you.